Before we get started today, I have a couple of Christmas jokes for you. Now, keep in mind, I didn't necessarily say they were good jokes. I just said they were jokes. If they're good, that'll totally be by accident. So, ready? Here we go. What's white and goes up? What's white and goes up? A confused snowflake. <laughs> What kind of lunch will you get if you cross an iceberg and a polar bear? I'll let you think about it for a second. What kind of lunch will you get if you cross a polar bear and an iceberg? You'll get a burger. <laughs> Can you endure one more joke? What did the little penguin say when he bumped into the dolphin? What did the little pe penguin say when he bumped into the dolphin? Sorry, I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> now remember, I only promised you jokes. I'm not good jokes. If you have a Christmas joke you want to share, send it to us on our Facebook page, and we'll maybe get a chance to read it for you on air. Well, it's time for LifePoint Kids to stand to your feet, and let's sing our opening song. Welcome to LifePoint Kids. We're so glad that you've joined us for Kids Church today. If this is your first time with us, or if you've been here a bazillion times before, we are super excited that you're here. Sometimes the world can be a tough place. There are a lot of situations that we face every day that bring about lots of questions. What should I do? How should I respond? Where do I go from here? Can anybody help me? In this lesson, we are going to learn another word the prophet Isaiah used to describe Jesus. That word is counselor. When facing tough situations and questions, we can ask Jesus and he will give us wisdom. 
We'll discover in our Bible story that even the three wise men who visited Jesus after he was born needed wise counsel. Simply put, we're going to learn that no matter what we face, when we ask Jesus for help, he will give us wisdom. Well, we've got a great service ahead, so let's start by joining Mr. Randy in prayer. Woo! Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am pumped for this Sunday, yo. So it is time to get our prayer charge on. All right, kids, let's go ahead, close our eyes and bow our head. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity today. It is the week of Thanksgiving, and I just want to pray right now, Thanksgiving to you for this church, this opportunity, and our leaders. We thank you so much for what you provided for us, Lord Jesus. And Holy Spirit, we pray right now for your presence and to prepare our hearts for the message to come. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen! Woo! All right. Let's get it on. Hey kids, today we're continuing our series, Jesus Is. It's all about Christmas. We're learning about an important prophecy all about the day Jesus was born. It contains a lot of words used to describe Jesus. Last time we learned that Jesus was wonderful. The next word Isaiah decided to use to describe Jesus was counselor. When I say the word counselor, what do you think of? That's right, most of us think about our school counselor or somebody that we can talk to about our problems. It's great to have those people, but today we're learning that Jesus is the ultimate counselor. Now, I want you to check out the next episode of the third annual Pewaukee Christmas Spelling Bee. We're just a few weeks away from Christmas, so that's the focus of our spelling bee, and all of our words have to do with Christmas. Your word today is counselor. Counselor. Uh, counselor. Can you use that in a sentence? Sure thing. When the boy got in trouble for cheating, he was sent to the school's counselor. Uh-huh. Counselor. Counselor. Uh, counselor, did you get that? What is that? Uh, nothing. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to myself. What is that noise, Buster? Sounds like it's coming from your end. Count Chocula? No, it's Counselor, not Count Chocula. What kind of spelling word would that be? Um, Buster, are you asking someone to spell the word for you? How dare you accuse me of cheating? Okay, well, you are disqualified from this round, and shame on you, whoever is on the radio. Sorry, it's five, by the way. Five golden rings? Oh, be quiet. Well, if Buster wouldn't have cheated, he could have asked for more information about his word, counselor, which is one of the many words used in the book of Isaiah to describe Jesus and the prophecy about his birth. Isaiah wrote, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You'll hear more about that word, Counselor, in your lesson today. But for now, we're going to go to a commercial break. Wait, wait, wait. Give me another chance. I can do it. I'll be honest this time. Okay, the word is counselor. Right, counselor. Let's see, uh, K? Okay, yeah, you're disqualified. And now we're gonna go to a commercial break. In your lesson today, you are going to learn all about how Jesus is counselor. Jesus can help us when we don't know what else to do. He can guide us and help us do the right thing in any situation we face. All right, boys and girls, stand to your feet, shake it out, and let's give Jesus some praise. I was like, let's give someone, and I was like, who? Jesus. <laughs> that was terrible, sorry. I love these. Oh, shut up. I'm glad I give you comic relief. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, stand to your feet, shake it out, and let's give Jesus some praise. Oh, oh, I'm gonna fly away, I'm gonna fly away someday. Fly away, I'm gonna fly away someday. Up, up, I'm gonna fly away, I'm gonna fly away 
everybody, it's me, the SKI to the double T L E S, Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about how Jesus is our counselor. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. Life can bring us lots of questions. Questions like, what am I supposed to be when I grow up? Who am I supposed to pick as my friends? Why is the sky blue? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll brand Tootsie Pop? When you don't know what to do, you can always ask God for wisdom. Jesus is our wise counselor. He will always give you wisdom when you're in a bind. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out. Merry Christmas, baby. As we just heard from Skittles, today's what's up is when I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. All right, so every time you hear someone here yell, what's up? Stand to your feet and yell, when I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. All right, Ray, let's practice our what's up for the day, all right? What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. That was fantastic. Now let's see if you can do it like that again. One, two, three, four. What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. Ah, good job. We just love seeing the What's Up videos that everyone has been sending in. So if you would like to, you can have someone make a video clip of you saying What's Up also. Have as much fun making it and be as creative as you want. When you're done, send it through Messenger to the LifePoint Kids Facebook page. We'd love to see you in one of our LifePoint Kids online services. This is open to kids and teens, as well as our older kids, if you know what I mean. But remember, kids, you need to get permission from your parents to participate. Let's practice this week's What's Up one more time. Ready? What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. And that's today's What's Up. Today's Bible story is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 2. King Herod was the king of Judah where many of the Jewish people lived. By this time, he was old and very sick. He was not a very good king. Herod did not treat his people fairly. One day, King Herod got a visit from three wise men who had come from a long distance. The wise men arrived in Jerusalem and went straight to the palace of Herod. They asked him, where is the new king of Jews? We saw his star as it rose in the east, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was confused. After all, he was the king of the Jewish people. Who could these wise men be talking about? Herod asked some of his priests and philosophers, and they gave him an answer. The new king these wise men were talking about was the Messiah, the one whom Isaiah prophesied about. They were talking about Jesus. King Herod was very angry. He was not excited at all about the possibility of losing his throne to this new baby Jesus. So King Herod made a plan to get rid of Jesus. Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem, then come back and tell me where the new king is staying. I want to go worship him too. The truth is, King Herod had no plans to worship baby Jesus. Herod was hoping the wise men would come tell him where to find Jesus so he could send his soldiers to kill this newborn king of the Jews. So, the wise men left Herod and traveled until they arrived at the home where Jesus was staying in Bethlehem. When they arrived, they presented gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus. Then, before they left to return to Herod, God gave the wise men a dream. God told them to return home without telling Herod where Jesus was staying. When Herod didn't see the wise men return, he was very angry. 
He ordered his soldiers to go to Bethlehem and kill every baby boy that was under two years old. However, because of the dream God gave the wise men, Jesus was safe and sound away from King Herod and his soldiers. God knew they needed help, so he gave them wisdom. Even the wise men needed a wise counselor. In your lesson today, you will learn Jesus is a wise counselor and he can help you in any situation. Hello! What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. Hello everyone, come on in. Welcome to Pumpernickels. Good to see ya. Hey kids, it's me, Happy, Happy Helperton, your favorite greeter at your local Pumpernickel store, where everything is just one nickel. Today I'm here to direct you to today's power verse, which is, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Psalm 32, 8. Well, deck my halls, that power verse was great. Now, what I need is for all my girls to stand up to their feet and say the power verse with me on the count of three. Ready, girls? Here we go. One, two, three. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Psalm 32, 8. All right, now girls, you sit down and all my boys stand to their feet and say the power verse with me on three. Ready? One, two, three. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Psalm 32, 8. Great job, you can be seated. Now, as you can expect, as a greeter at Pumpernickel Store, people come up to me all the time needing advice. Like just the other day, someone said, Happy, I just bought my Yuletide skillet and I have no idea how to clean it. Which then I have to tell them, look, everybody knows you clean a Yuletide skillet with Yuletide. And it's clearly noted on aisle 15 signage right there. <laughs> but for me, I know that when I need advice, I go to the number one source, and that is Jesus Christ. He is my counselor. Now, I need everyone to stand to their feet, and let's say the power verse on the count of three. Ready, kids? One, two, three. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Psalm 32, 8. Great job, kids. You can all be seated. Well, Happy's got to go help the customers. So, until next time, remember, during this season, don't make a fuss. Have a happy, happy, happy Christmas. Bye, kids. <laughs> Have you ever been to the counselor's office at school? The school counselor is usually a nice man or a nice woman who helps kids when they have a problem. If you need help with a tough situation, you go to the school counselor's office. If you're faced with a bully, if you're having trouble with your grades, or if there's problems with your family and friends, a counselor can help. With most other situations like these, you can also go to the school counselor for help too. But today, we're not going to talk about the school counselor. Today, we are learning the next word Isaiah used to describe Jesus. That word is counselor. That's right. Jesus is our counselor. He can help you during any situation you face. When you don't know what to do, Jesus can help you. 
I mean, let's face it. Life brings lots of questions. There are a lot of times when you don't know what to do, what to say, or even where to go. We're all faced with tough situations in our families, friendships, and at school. When troubles come our way, it's not easy to know how to respond or what to do. We can have lots of questions and it can get pretty frustrating. You know, sometimes we ask other people what we should do and they give us bad advice that doesn't help. Or even worse, they say, I don't know, good luck with that. Well, when life brings us lots of questions, we can go straight to God. He can help us even when no one else knows what to do. God knows all things. Can you believe that? He knows all things. That means God knows the answer to every question on every test. He knows every random fact that there ever was, and he knows every person's name in the whole world. In fact, God knows so much that he even knows how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. He does. I, I need a volunteer. Addy, come on up here, please. Come on up. All right. So I've filled each of these boxes and bags with different prizes. One of them is way better than the other prizes. But you only get to choose one of them to open and get the prize from. So, if you can ask anyone in this entire room, I mean anyone, who are you going to ask to help you choose that package? Um, you. You know, that's a great idea because, after all, I did put all the prizes in all of these containers. So, I do know more than anyone else about which prize is the best. So, let me see if I can remember. I know, I know, I know. I'll bet that would be a really good one. I'm just giving you the advice, though. That would be a really good one. Do you want to choose that one? I think I'll take this one. You think you'll take this one? Okay, well, let me do this. Uh, let me show you a few of the other prizes that you might have won and gotten had you not taken my excellent advice. <laughs> An airhead. Not very. It's, it's nice, but any prize is a good prize, but that's not what you want. <laughs> a bag of, uh, of miniatures, Christmas miniatures. Those are good. Those are good. Let's see. What's, what's down here in this one? Oh, it's just, it's just a Christmas ornament. It's a truck. Christmas ornament. Trucks are in this year. You know that, don't you? The little red trucks are the big deal this year. They're all the rage. All the rage? All the rage, yeah. Rage? Oh, uh, just a little prize, a Lego movie prize from McDonald's that I got with my Happy Meal. <laughs> all right, so are you ready? You want to open yours up and see what you got? Go ahead. Just pull the clip off and pull the tape apart. There's tape in there holding it closed. So you couldn't peek. Pull tight. Pull hard. You can do it. I got confidence in you. It's a $10 bill. And trust me, that $10 <laughs> bill is worth more than anything on this table. It's probably worth more than everything combined on the table. So it's a good thing you listen to my advice, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Addie. I appreciate it. Go ahead and take your seat. You want the bag, too? You can have the bag. All right. Well, when it came to these packages, I knew all about it. I was the best person for her to ask in this room. And that's how it is with life, too. You can ask a lot of people for help, but only one knows all things. That's God. He knows absolutely everything. In fact, the Bible says in Luke 12, 7, and the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Wow, that means that God not only knows all things, but God knows all about you. So when you don't know what to do, God does. He knows about everything you're facing, and he can help show you what to do. 
All you have to do is ask Jesus, and he will give you wisdom. Ask Jesus. He will give you wisdom. When you're facing big problems in your family or a bully at school, ask Jesus for help. When you're trying to decide something really tough and you don't know what to do, ask Jesus. He will give you wisdom. Our power verse today says, The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway of your life. I will advise you and watch over you. That's in Psalms 32, 8. All you have to do is ask Jesus and he will give you wisdom. So, how do you ask Jesus for wisdom? Well, it's really simple. You just pray and ask Jesus and you say, you pray to Jesus and you say, Jesus, I don't know what to do. Please give me wisdom so I know what to do and to make the right decision. When you pray, ask Jesus for wisdom. He will give it to you. When you finish praying, take a few minutes and listen for God to speak to you. Now, he may not speak loudly and say, Tommy, this is God. I have wisdom for you. I have the wisdom you requested, so listen up. Nah. That's probably not going to happen. Most of the time, God uses a still, small voice. That means a lot of the times he helps guide and direct your thoughts. When you have prayed and asked God for wisdom, take some time to listen. When you ask Jesus, he will give you wisdom. Go ahead and pray with me for a minute. Lord, we thank you so much for being such a great counselor. We thank you that you know all, see all, and you are just, you are the greatest counselor that ever existed. We thank you that when we come to you seeking advice, we can get advice from you. We can get good advice and the correct advice. And Lord, we just praise you and worship you for making yourself available to help us through our problems. You are the only one that can truly help us through all of our problems. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, Jesus loves you so, so much. He loves you so much that he died on the cross for your sins. In order for God to forgive us of our sins, something or someone had to be the sacrifice. And Jesus chose to be that sacrifice. He took the punishment for our sins. The first step in being forgiven of our sins is to ask Jesus into your heart. If you've never decided to turn away from your sinful behavior and follow him, today would be a really great day to do it. All you have to do is pray and tell him that you accept him as your savior, that you believe he died on the cross for your sins, and ask him to forgive you of those sins. You can go to your mom or dad, you can go to a grandparent, your older brother or sister, and they will be happy to walk you through the steps of accepting Jesus in your heart. I'm telling you, it'll be the greatest thing you ever do. What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. <laughs> the brain drain and see how much you can remember from today's lesson. Question number one, what's up today? God will give me advice. I will make it through. When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. That's right. When I don't know what to do, I know that God will see me through. Good job. Question number two, what is the name of the king in our Bible story today? Is it Herod, Harold, or Hansen? That's right. The answer is Herod. Good job. Question number three. Who came to speak to King Herod? Was it Jesus? Was it three wise men or an angel? That's correct. Three wise men. You guys are doing great. Question number four. Who were the wise men looking for? A star, Joseph, or Jesus? That's right, they were looking for Jesus. Question number five. What word did Isaiah use to describe Jesus that we learned about today? Was it counselor, wonderful, or candid? 
That's right, counselor. Good job. Question number six. According to our lesson today, life brings lots of blank. Life brings lots of worries. Life brings lots of questions. Or life brings lots of lemons. That's right, life does bring us lots of questions. Good job. Question number seven. According to our lesson today, God knows blank things. God knows some things, God knows most things, or God knows all things. That's right, the answer is all. God knows all things. Good job. Question number eight. According to our lesson today, ask Jesus, he will give you wisdom, he will give you help, or he will give you advice. That's right, if you ask Jesus, he will give you wisdom. Good job. Question number nine, true or false? Jesus is a counselor. That's right, the answer is true. Question number 10, where was our power verse found? Mark 4, 18, Psalm 32, 8, or Proverbs 14, 2. That's correct. It was found in Psalm 32, 8. So how did you do? Did you do your very best? Great job, everyone. What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. Game on. All right, it's game time, and we're going to play balloon cups, all right? So in this game, we're going to take turns to see who can blow the, the cups off the table using their balloon and do it the fastest, okay? So you can't touch the cups with your, with your balloon. You can't touch it with your hand. You can't bump the table. You can't do any of that stuff. You have to blow it off with the air in your balloon. Now, the person who does it the fastest will be declared the winner. All right, so at the end of the game, the person who wins will actually get to draw the name out of the bucket to see who is the virtual winner today, okay? So y'all ready? All right, so if you two will step aside, if you'll step aside, I'm gonna let you go first, Daddy. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. On your mark. Get set. <clears throat> are you ready? Yes. Go! noises you were making you definitely are your daddy's child yes there you go all right okay so mark are you ready yeah. you're next here we go okay are you ready on your mark your mark on your mark get set go Mark, good job. All right. So what was your time on that one, Mr. Gina? 46 seconds. 46 seconds. Oh, my goodness. All right. And uh, are you ready? Yeah. All right. So are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Alright, 
good job, Savannah. <laughs> yes, as she walks away to pass out. Yes, uh, all right, so good job, Savannah. So what is our, what is our winning time? 46 seconds, Mark. Mark, you are the winner. Come on up. Come on up. All right, so, so we're going to go ahead and let you draw uh, out of the bucket to see who our virtual winner is today. Zach Barker. Zach Barker, you are this week's virtual winner. All right, so you need to contact us, let us know you were watching, and we'll send you a $5 Walmart gift card. All right, guys, great job playing. What's up? When I don't know what to do, I know God will see me through. We're so glad that you chose to join us today, and we really do miss you all so much, and we are praying for you every day. So if you would, bow your heads and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much that you sent your son Jesus to come down to earth, Lord, to be our wonderful counselor, Lord God. And thank you so much, Lord, that we have this time in the season to celebrate the gift that you gave to all of us, Lord God. And just help us to remember that when we're in times of trouble or when we're questioning things, Lord, that no matter where we are, Lord, we can take a minute and we can ask you for your wise counsel, Lord, and that we know that you are going to give us the best answers, Lord God. And so just remind us that you are walking with us daily, Lord. And Lord Jesus, we know that this is a tough time for all of us right now, Lord God, and we definitely need wise counsel, Lord. So help us to just remember that you're with us, Lord. And thank you so much for this service, and thank you for all these wonderful children. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you all next week.